November 1999. Still working at Framart. I didn't read a lot of books uh, this month. Probably because Y2K is about to destroy the world and I was out partying, especially since it's my birthday month. You know, had to get in all the fun I could before the world ends. Or, I don't know, maybe I was busy with something else. Who can say? Who can remember that far back? Uh, only six books in November of 1999. Three of them are connected. You'll see. So let's jump right in, and we'll start with the first book I read in November 1999. And that was When Will You Rage? Edited by Stuart Week. If that's how you say his name, not the first time I've tried to say it. Not the first time I've potentially mispronounced it. This is an anthology of stories based on White Wolf's World of Darkness, Werewolf, the Apocalypse. Uh, so, Werewolf, I've mentioned this before because I've read other Werewolf books before. There are different tribes. It's it's a role-playing game. And there are different tribes with different characteristics for each tribe. Uh, so where you have, like in Dungeons and Dragons, you have the classes and things. These are tribes. I'm just going to keep saying tribes, apparently. Anyway, these are just a bunch of stories set in this world uh, where the werewolves are the good guys. They're fighting against the worm spelled with a Y, W-Y-R-M, which is essentially destroying the Earth. Think of it as corporate malfeasance. Uh, you know, oil dumped in rivers and toxic waste and things like that. Just uh, bad stuff. The werewolves fight against it. They also fight amongst themselves. But a bunch of short stories. You've got authors like Owl, Owl going back. James A. Moore, writing about different werewolves in the different tribes. Um, and it's, I, I, I think of all the white, white wolf worlds, werewolf is my favorite. It's my first one, uh, because I had Rage, the werewolf, the apocalypse card game, which is the first collectible card game I ever bought and played. I thought that was a lot of fun, and I like werewolves. There you go. Coincidence. Pure coincidence that I'm wearing my werewolf shirt. Next up, Everybody Pays by Andrew Vax. This is a short story collection. 38 stories in this collection. There are no Burke stories. Burke, his most famous character. And, uh, you know, these stories deal with criminals, the dark side of human nature, pederists, as it says in the description. Uh, five of the stories, I think, feature Cross, or a number of stories feature Cross, who's not as popular a character as Burke. And I first met Cross and Andrew Vax when Andrew Vax wrote a Predator miniseries for Dark Horse Comics, Predator Race Wars. Uh, I picked it up because it was Predator, and I had this character Cross. And I think in the first issue, it talked about Andrew Vax. He's this author, writes these books. And that's when I started reading his books. Uh, great, 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 dark, gritty, short stories in that snappy Andrew Vax style. Then we have Death and Damnation, edited by Staley Krauss and Stuart Week. And this is... Uh, an anthology of Wraith stories from White Wolf's World of Darkness. Wraith is was their game that, that dealt with ghosts and the afterlife. And so people die, they go to the afterlife, there's evil ghosts, there's your normal ghosts just trying to make their way in the, the underworld, as it were. And uh, again, I believe there are different aspects, different types of ghosts and personalities and things that a character would you would have for your character in in the role-playing game uh so there's just a bunch of stories 
um, that take place in this world, dealing with basically people dying and having to adjust to being a ghost, being a wraith. It's okay. Not one of my favorite parts of the whole world of darkness thing. The werewolf and vampire. And, well, some others, but those will come up later. Not today, but later. Let's move on. Next, we have Family Honor by Robert B. Parker. This is the first of the Sonny Randall series. Sonny Randall is a private investigator in uh, Boston, and that's Sonny, S-U-N-N-Y. And she uh, takes a case looking for a runaway named Millicent. And things happen. Um, I like the Sonny Randall character, but it does feel a little like a lot of the Spencer stories recycled. Um, Sonny's ex-husband is uh, in the mob and she gets a lot of help from him. She has a friend um, named Spike who is, as described in one of the things I looked up, a flamboyant and dangerous gay man. And I think he's sort of, he's the hawk equivalent. And in this story, as I said, Sonny's looking for a runaway. And when she finds her, she's hooking. And when... Sonny saves her, for lack of a better way to put it. She refuses to go home, and so Sonny has to sort of become a surrogate mom. Uh, so this is this was reminiscent of the April Kyle stuff going on. Well, April Kyle and uh, Paul, whatever his name was, a couple of different characters in Spencer. But typically good uh, Robert B. Parker writing, interesting characters, uh, I know in this series, I don't remember if it's in this book, in this series, there's some crossover with characters, other characters that Robert P. Parker has written. But anyway, the first Sonny Randall book, uh, a good private eye mystery. The penultimate, you knew that word was coming, penultimate book for November of 1999, Truth Until Paradox, edited, edited excuse me, by Stuart Week and Staley Krauss. Although I have Stanley Krauss for some reason this time. It says Staley Krauss for Death and Damnation. And I think that's actually what it is. And I might have misspelled it here. But anyway, Truth Until Paradox is another anthology from White Wolf's World of Darkness. This one deals with Mage, the Ascension, I believe is what it's called. And this is the, the magic users. Think Doctor Strange. Um, so again... In the role-playing game, there are different, I think they're called traditions, nine different traditions. So in Vampire, you have the clans. In Werewolf, you have the tribes. Now you have traditions. And so the world, in, in Mage, the world is basically, exists through, or reality exists through the common belief of all of the population, you know. The majority of people believe certain things. That's what reality is. Mages can manipulate reality. And there's good guys and there's bad guys. So again, a bunch of short stories. Uh, one by Philip Nutman, a much beloved, I believe, but very less than prolific author. And uh, another James A. Moore, or a couple James A. Moores. He co-wrote with somebody, I believe. So, a bunch of short stories based on another White Wolf game, this time focusing on magic and magic users. And then finally, the last book that I read in November of 1999 was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sins of the Father by Christopher Golden. <laughs> Excuse me. And the significant thing about this book is that it brings back the character of Pike, from the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. The So the plot is uh, basically Pike comes to town 
He's being chased by something. He needs Buffy's help. Meanwhile, vampire attacks. Giles is in trouble. You know, other stuff going on. But the big thing is that Pike is back. Um, and so there was there were very tenuous connections between the Buffy TV show and the movie. The most I remember being mentioned is that when, when Buffy first moves to Sunnydale, there are rumors that she burned down the gym at her last school, which, of course, is a reference to the movie. But that's about it. There's really not much else that's ever mentioned. But now we have a character, one of the main characters um, from the movie, returning. And um, it's the... I can't think of the... Wow. Wow. Luke, what's his name? The actor that played him is from 90210. He was on Riverdale. And I cannot think of his name. He passed away. Um, I can picture him perfectly. I can remember the uh, Family Guy episode that he was in. Luke Perry. Luke Perry? Is that his name? You know what? Now I'm going to have to look it up. Let's go. Grabbing the phone. This doesn't happen very often, does it? But it's going to bug me. I'm I'm 99% certain. I'm just going to look up Beverly Hills 90210. And it's not Jason Priestley. I know that much. Luke Perry. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Anyway, that was a nice little side trip there. Yes, Pike, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um... So it's Christopher Golden. You know it's well written. If you're a big Buffy fan, I like the movie. I like the TV show. It was nice to see this, uh, see the two of them sort of brought closer together. So Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sins of the Father, Christopher Golden. And that's it. Those are the six books that I read in November of 1999. The penultimate month of the last year that we will be alive. Because Y2K is going to destroy everything. Uh, I wonder. I wonder what's going to come up in the last month of existence. We'll see. I haven't looked ahead. Uh, there you go. I did not think of a question ahead of time as usual. So. Hmm. I don't know. You know, I might just skip it. There really wasn't a lot. I could ask about World of Darkness, but I don't really have a question regarding that. Um, I could. I would ask what scares you more, werewolves, ghosts, or magicians? Uh, but the magicians part doesn't quite uh, work there. If it were clowns, maybe. <laughs> so, I have no questions, but, you know, I always say, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, put them in the comments below, and I will be doing that again, but let me just throw it out there. If you have any questions at all for me, throw them in the comments below. I'm not saying I'm going to answer them. I might. Depends on the question. But, <laughs> let's open it up. Let's talk down in the comments. And if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. All the usual YouTube stuff. If you'd care to follow me on other social media, <coughs> excuse me, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, fuzzy animals, is ericsmith5757. That's Eric with K. E R I K S M I T H five seven five seven. I feel something in my throat, but I'm trying not to cough again. Let's see if I can finish this off. If you're on Blue Sky, I am at E L Smith. That's all I have for you this week. So until next week, read more books. <laughs>